Hi friends, welcome to Nursing Online Education. In this video we will be discussing important questions and answers of different nursing competitive examinations. Guys, let's get started. Here is our first question. A 40-year-old woman is a Gravita 2, Para 2 and is currently trying to conceive. Her previous pregnancy resulted in the birth of a baby with cleft lip and palate. The patient is anxious and concerned about future pregnancies and the nurse provides genetic counseling and reassurance. Which food would most effectively prevent recurrence? And the options are A. Green vegetables and citrus fruit B. Eggs, milk and dairy products C. Wheat, corn, rice, oats and rye D. Beef chicken and yellow vegetables i repeat the options are a green vegetables and citrus fruit b eggs milk and dairy products c wheat corn rice oats and rye d beef chicken and yellow vegetables the right answer is option a green vegetables and citrus fruit here is our next question a three-year-old child was admitted to the post-operative care unit following a heart transplant the nurse administers cyclosporin by intravenous infusion 15 minutes later the child has difficulty breathing his skin feels cold and clammy and he appears restless which is the most appropriate initial nursing action? And the options are A. Ensure airway patency B. Administer oxygen therapy C. Discontinue intravenous infusion D. Administer intramuscular epinephrine I repeat, the options are A. Ensure airway patency B. Administer oxygen therapy C. Discontinue intravenous infusion. D. Administer intramuscular epinephrine. The right answer is option C. Discontinue intravenous infusion. Here is our next question. A nurse is evaluating a patient five days after a right total hip replacement. Which of the following goals is appropriate for the patient? And the options are A. Maintain abduction without dislocation B. Rest with legs elevated while sitting C. Tie shoes and put on undergarments without assistive devices D. Perform scissor-like exercises daily I repeat, the options are A. Maintain abduction without dislocation. B. Rest with legs elevated while sitting. C. Tie shoes and put on undergarments without assistive devices. D. Perform scissor-like exercises daily. The right answer is option A. Maintain abduction without dislocation. Here is our next question. A six-year-old child with type 1 diabetes has an uncontrolled blood glucose level. The child has been given regular insulin with minimal change in glucose level in the first 30 minutes. Which type of insulin has an onset of 15 minutes and a duration of no more than 4 hours? And the options are A. Aspert Novolog B. Lispro Cumulog C. Semolite D. Neutral Protamine Hagdom NPH I repeat, the options are A. Aspert Novolog B. Lispro Cumulog C. Semolite D. Neutral Protamine Hagdom NPH The right answer is option B. Lispro Cumulog Here is our next question. 
Which assessment finding would the nurse expect in an infant diagnosed with pyloric stenosis? And the options are A. Abdominal rigidity B. Ribbon-like stools C. Visible waves of peristalsis D. Rectal prolapse I repeat, the options are A. Abdominal rigidity B. Ribbon-like stools C. Visible waves of peristalsis. D. Rectal prolapse. The right answer is options C. Visible waves of peristalsis. Here is our next question. A home care nurse reviews the second follow-up laboratory test results of a patient with iron deficiency anemia. The nurse compares the recent laboratory results to the results taken three months ago. The patient has been eating food rich in iron as prescribed by the nutritionist. What can be inferred about the progress of the treatment by comparing the two laboratory values? And the options are a patient's uptake of iron by diet is sufficient and no additional intervention is necessary b patient's uptake of iron by diet is sufficient but additional intervention is necessary c patient's uptake of iron by diet is insufficient and additional intervention is necessary d Patient's uptake of iron by diet is insufficient, and the physician's immediate action is necessary. I repeat, the options are A. Patient's uptake of iron by diet is sufficient, and no additional intervention is necessary. B. Patient's uptake of iron by diet is sufficient, but additional intervention is necessary. C. Patient's uptake of iron by diet is insufficient, and additional intervention is necessary. D. Patient's uptake of iron by diet is insufficient, and the physician's immediate action is necessary. The right answer is option B. Patient's uptake of iron by diet is sufficient, but additional intervention is necessary. Here is our next question. A first-time mother of a three-week-old breastfed baby brings the infant to the clinic and complains that her child has been forcefully vomiting after feeding. He was born 40 weeks gestation, weighing 3.6 kilograms. He is constantly hungry and irritable. Examination reveals a swollen abdomen and a palpable mass in the middle upper right quadrant. What is the most likely health problem? And the options are A. Intussusception B. Pyloric stenosis C. Gastroesophageal reflux D. Diaphragmatic hernia. I repeat, the options are A. Intussusception. B. Pyloric stenosis. C. Gastroesophageal reflux. D. Diaphragmatic hernia. The right answer is option B. Pyloric stenosis. Here is our next question. A six-year-old boy is in the post-operative care unit following a tonsillectomy. The nurse observes that his gag reflex has returned and removes the artificial airway. The patient then begins to cry and tells the nurse that his throat hurts badly. What type of data is the patient providing the nurse? And the options are A. Objective B inferential c comparative d subjective 
I repeat, the options are A. Objective B. Inferentia C. Comparative D. Subjective The right answer is option D. Subjective Here is our next question. A nurse is admitting a two-year-old child with an umbilical hernia. Which of the following interventions does not meet the child's developmental needs? And the options are A. Allowing the child to make choices when possible. B. Providing rooming in the unlimited visitation. C. Attempting to continue rituals used at home. D. Maintaining strict bed rest. I repeat, the options are A. Allowing the child to make choices when possible. B. Providing rooming in the unlimited visitation. C. Attempting to continue rituals used at home. D. Maintaining strict bed rest. The right answer is option D. Maintaining strict bed rest. Here is our next question. In what position should a dyspneic patient be placed? And the options are A. Prone B. Recumbent C. Semi Fowlers D. Trendelenburg I repeat, the options are A. Prone B. Recumbent C. Semi Fowlers D. Trendelenburg the right answer is options C. Semi Fowlers. Here is our next question. The nurse is caring for a woman whose husband beats her regularly. Which is the most important long term goal for this woman? And the options are A. Provide a long term support group. B. Help her feel like a survivor. C. Point out the ways she behaved. D. Be able to blame the abuser. I repeat, the options are A. Provide a long-term support group. B. Help her feel like a survivor. C. Point out the ways she behaved. D. Be able to blame the abuser. The right answer is option B help her feel like a survivor. Here is our next question. A seven-year-old child presented to the emergency room with a fracture of the right arm. What would be the long-term goal for this patient? And the options are A. Patient verbalizes decreased pain level. B. Nurse notes neurovascular checks are within normal limits. C. Nurse notes decreased swelling of the right arm. D. Patient performs activities of daily living without difficulty. I repeat, the options are A. Patient verbalizes decreased pain level. B. Nurse notes neurovascular checks are within normal limits. C. Nurse notes decreased swelling of the right arm. D. Patient performs activities of daily living without difficulty. The right answer is option D. Patient performs activities of daily living without difficulty. Here is our next question. A patient presented to the office for a physical examination. The patient is found to be healthy and fit but occasionally drinks alcohol and has unprotected sex. What is the best nursing diagnosis? And the options are A. Health-seeking behavior B. Knowledge deficit, high-risk behaviors C. Low self-esteem D. Altered thought process I repeat, the options are A health-seeking behavior, b. knowledge deficit, high-risk behaviors, c. low self-esteem, d. altered thought process. 
The right answer is option B knowledge deficit, high risk behaviors. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos.